welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney. If you are new here, I'm really excited to be filming this video. I get a lot of questions asking how it's like working at Hooters and I know a lot of girls that are interested in working there but aren't sure because they don't know really what it's like. So that is why I am filming this video. Anyone that is interested in working at Hooters, you should Keep watching this video because I'm going to kind of bring you guys along a real day in life as a Hooters girl. So this morning I kind of just like did my usual morning routine. I um, woke up, had some coffee, I took a shower, blow dried my hair, and did my makeup. And then my mom actually made breakfast for me. So we had an omelet, um, avocado toast, and fruit salad. I'm so full right now but um, I'm probably not gonna have time to eat during my shift. So um, that's why I like to have like a really big breakfast, get some avocado in there so my stomach's nice and full. At Hooters, we don't really have breaks, but we are allowed to go in the back room at any time if um, we're not too busy, if we get a girl to cover our section while we go sit down and eat for a second or make a phone call. We just need to have our sections covered and taken care of. I'm gonna first talk a little bit about like the restaurant and like how the application process works. You can either apply online or in the s restaurant. Um, I feel like if you go to the restaurant and they see you up in person and then really like understand your personality, I think that would just be better, but you can totally apply online. I'm pretty sure they request a picture as well. But for me, I went in with my boyfriend um, to eat and then I asked if I could fill out an application. So I filled out an application and then talked to one of the managers and then um, I got his number and everything. And then he told me he'll give me a call if um, they're interested. So then I got another call and they told me to come in to have another interview with the general manager. They asked me a few questions. Whoever interviews you, it depends like what they're gonna ask. So for me, they didn't really ask a lot of questions, but I had my friend go and apply and they asked her, um, and it was one of like the bigger managers, so he asked her a bunch of questions that I didn't get asked. It just depends what, who you got and who you're talking to, but at the end of the day, if you have a good personality, you're genuine, you know how to work hard because what you're saying is a hard job, and especially at Hooters, it gets so freaking busy. So we're always running around having to restock our side stations while taking care of our tables, getting them everything, getting them silverware, refilling the ice bucket, getting their drinks, refilling their sodas. Like, it's crazy, it gets crazy. But after my second interview, um, a couple of days later, I got a call saying I was hired and they wanted me to come in to get my uniforms. So I get two white uniforms, two black uniforms, um, pantyhose, and then I have to buy white shoes from them. So they have like Skechers shoes, so they're 40 bucks that you have to pay for. But then once you start working, you're gonna get the money right back. So I started with four days of training and then on the last on the fourth day, I actually was able to go on the floor after I took a couple tests and I didn't know I was taking the tests. So I did really bad on the alcohol test, but I did good on the food test. I literally, I even made flashcards, like, because I'm such a perfectionist and I want to, like, get everything. So I just made flashcards to really understand everything. Since I didn't pass the alcohol test, they just gave me a section in the back room with, like, three tables. I got set twice and made $9, and it was terrible, but... The next day, I went back at it and I made some more money. It's all a learning process and eventually once you get the hang of everything, which you will in the end, it's really fun. Um, not easy, but it's manageable because of the money you bring home at night. So before every shift, we have what's called a jump start and basically our managers will go through anything we're out of stock on and they will like tell us if we have any new beers on draft or like any new deals so we just got the impossible burger and the meatless chicken so that's something they would bring up in the meeting and the dress code is a tucked in shirt our shorts can't be too up but it has to be covering our butt um we have to wear the pantyhose we have to wear the shoes and the socks they give us if we lose anything or forget anything we have to pay for it and then we have to wear our pouches with only pens a pad and a, like something if you have like an envelope or I made like a little book to hold your money in we have to cover our tattoos so this is the only one I have to cover I have a couple of my fingers but it's like 
after the whole day washing my hands and everything it's just I can't cover them but um, this is the most noticeable one so I have to cover this one and we are only allowed to wear one earring in each ear no facial piercing um, we have to wear our hair straight or curled and it has to be a natural color I know a lot of people have like naturally curly nappy hair and if you want to wear it like that during work it has to go through corporate and then we have to wear makeup um, it doesn't have to be too much, but like natural, pretty, like some girls go all out, some girls just wear like the minimal, um, eyebrows and the eyelashes, but it's like really up to you. At the jump start, they make sure all of our uniforms are like correctly fitted, nothing, like no tattoos are showing. Also, our nails have to be neutral, we can't have any colors, but I don't really like coloring my nails anyways, I like them natural, so I just do like a dip natural looking color. I have to go soon, so if I don't finish like explaining everything I want to, I'll probably continue in the car. And when we greet guests, we have to take a little um, napkin and write our name on it with some hearts. You can sit with them if you want. Um, obviously, if there's like a couple coming in and um, that's clearly his girlfriend, like you're not going to want to sit next to him. Maybe you can sit next to her, but you want to like feel out the situation because we always do we don't want to make anybody feel awkward because um, Hooters is like a different restaurant environment than a lot of places. So we just want to make everybody feel comfortable and um, just provide like the best customer service we can because if you do that then they'll tip you good but sometimes like we get frazzled we have days where we forget orders and like we just forget to check up on a table and a lot of the times they are they feel for us and they understand but sometimes you have to deal with people with big attitudes you just gotta shut your mouth and deal with it what else do I want to talk about? There obviously is better sections in the restaurant than other sections, but it just depends who you're working with. If they have more experience than you, they'll probably get the better section. I only work Saturday double, so I'll go in in the morning before we open, open the restaurant, and then um, there's usually one other girl with me when it's like a regular day, nothing's going on. And then we get to pick numbers, and whoever guesses the number right gets to pick their section first. Today is a Sunday, and I'm working the Super Bowl because everyone has to work the Super Bowl. So literally, all the girls are working today. So we'll see everybody. Hopefully, they want to be on camera. It's a hit or miss. Like, some days aren't going to be as busy as others, but that just comes with any job in this industry but most of the time you're making over twenty dollars an hour there's also modeling opportunities at Hooters all the Hooters girls get the opportunity to submit photos to potentially be in the calendar I did submit some photos um, if you want to go check out my Instagram I posted them on there um, I'll link my Instagram down below if you want to go check out those pictures if you just want to get an idea like what kind of photos they want to see to submit. Alright, I have to get going now. It is 10.04. I have to be there at 11. I like to stop to get a coffee and I like to be there a little bit early um, just to like open up the restaurant and we'll see who else is there. I hope this goes well. So it takes me about like 20 minutes depending on traffic to go to work. Um, I'm almost there now. Sorry, the lighting sucks right now. Give me a second. Okay, that like actually took forever. I stopped at Starbucks because it's like right down the street from Hooters. Good thing I left early because I got here at like 10.25 and it's 10.37 right now. And that's like how long it took them to like get my order. Cause I'm trying to be a good citizen and have like my own little mug that they put the coffee in because I hate using plastic all the time like that and I get a coffee every day. So it makes a difference, you know, I'm just, just promoting good um well what um anyways so i just get a latte from starbucks um my order is always switching um last time i spoke with you guys was in my last video and i was getting hot macchiatos from donks but now i've been really digging the iced lattes from starbucks and i get like two pumps of white chocolate mocha which is shouldn't be doing that but it's so damn good <laughs> Wait, why are you here already? Oh, this we're is doing to go. Are you doing your um, day in the life with Hooters Girl today? Yes, I am. So cute. 
so this is where like all the girls like get ready and change this is my stuff so I'm just gonna put on my uniform and then I'll show you guys what it looks like after oh, I feel like I've heard this before, but I'm like, not oh, sure. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Yeah, you can. Yaga, yaga. Say hi. How you doing? This is one of our managers. You know. He's one of the best. I have the best. Thank you. <laughs> so, this is like one of our uniforms that we wear. It's a black one. Um, a lot of the girls like this one better, but I honestly don't care. So we have to wear our name tag, cover tattoos, and then it has to be tucked in to our shorts. And then our pouch has to be like this with the strap tucked in. And then I just have my little book that I keep all my money and I keep track of my tips here. I keep the money in here and then I keep my finalized checks over here. These are my shoes, they're kind of dirty. That's just our uniform. Have any words for the vlog? Let's get this money, baby. <laughs> This is one of the side stations that we have to restock. Um, there's enough ice, we put all of these down, put the trays and the backboard in. We have the cup tray and then we need to get some more knives because there's only forks over here. But everything else looks pretty good. We have enough stuff um, stocked under here. Usually the night girls take care of that. Danny. That's all right here. Hi. <laughs> have any words? Um, yeah, happy Super Bowl Sunday. Let's get this money, baby. Yes, that's what yeah, does that too. Yes. I'm Eliza. I'm Desiree. I've worked here for four years. Worked here for three years. All right, what are the pros and cons of working here? Um, pros, the money, um, the girls that you work with, cons, the hours, the, hours. the guys that you deal with. <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. What's the most amount you've made in a day? Or night. Probably around like 1400, 1500, so. Still lying. Shut up. One time I got a thousand dollars in, and that was probably the most I ever made in one day. That's true. Yes. From one person? Yes. Wow. What's the craziest thing you've been asked to do for money? Soccer? Yeah, some guy came in there and wanted our used socks for $500. The socks you were wearing. Or like the dirty, like stained shirt. But like the more dirty, the more money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly do you like about computers? Like what like brings you to the internet besides the money? Women, beers, booze. Beers, booze. <laughs> 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 what do you like? What are your dislikes? What do you not like? Dislike the drunk people? Drunk people, yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, work. Hi guys. Hi baby. Good day of life. Who is Carol? Yes. Wait, no, I seriously wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Our newest manager. You know, you know. You know. We already know. What's your favorite thing about working here? My favorite thing about working here is our, uh, to work with you guys. You guys are awesome. So. We're awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Ooh, look at that. Follow the Instagram. Yeah. Of course, of course. Look at your 2020 calendar. Hey, hey. One guy, Steve, in an online order. Steve is up here. Uh, Steve. A weird tab. One says talk to Chris. I'm finally done with work. Since I worked a double yesterday, I made more money than I did today because um, today the schedule is kind of weird. And they put me 11 to 3 doing tables, taking tables, whatever, um, for only four hours. And then from 3 to 6, packaging to goes, hosting, not making any tips. Um, so I didn't really make that much today. But overall, it was a really fun day filming, and I'm excited to see how this comes out.